Yes. Good day to my fans all over the world. Good day to my subscribers all over the world. Welcome to the English FA Cup Finals between Manchester City versus Manchester United. And uh, like we all know, Manchester City has won the English Premier League and um, they are going for the treble, just like uh, Manchester United went for the treble in 1999, where they won um, Juventus, uh, they won, um, I think Bayern or so, in the finals of the Champions League, a miraculous comeback in that game. And they also won the Premier League and I think um, the FA Cup too. So Manchester City is also on the verge of breaking the treble because they have a Champions League match to play after this FA Cup final that will be happening on now on the 3rd of um, June 2023. So like I said, this match promises to be an exciting match and um, like we all know, um, Gajola is a coach that is always prepared for big games and um, you know when I say big games Manchester City is a club built for big games built for cup finals Manchester City is built for cup finals they know how to do it they know how to do it and um, like we all know Manchester United have lifted the Carling Cup and um, we would want to also um, fight with their noisy neighbours, according to Ferguson, Alex Ferguson. When Ferguson was the coach of Manchester United, he's always fond of calling Man City the noisy neighbours. Um, but to me, I don't see Man City as a noisy neighbour because a noisy neighbour is someone who talks and talks and talks and at the end of the day you see nothing in return. But you can see what Gadula has been doing with Manchester City since he came in as a manager. And um, I see a lot of action in the match. I see a lot of action in the match. And uh, I wouldn't want to keep lovers of football, you know, unabraced with the um, events to be unfolded. And now, like I said, I do mathematical analysis to make fans of football, you know, have an expectation. Yes, of course. Football games have to do with a home win and a away win or a draw. Or, uh -huh, you know, now, but in mathematical analysis, I tend to bring out these outcomes to make them enjoyable, to make lovers of football enjoy football, to increase the appetite of lovers of football before a football match. Now, what do I mean? Like I see that Man City has um, 1.50 or to be able to win Manchester United. And Man City ended the league in first position, Man United in third position. Man City 89 points, Manchester United 75 points. And invariably we'll have a 208 here, 208 here. We should make this game to play a 1.5. So that is why I have a 1.5 here. So for those who are lovers of football that like to, you know, should also look out for this. This is a 208, so invariably it's a 1.5 one. And then we have a 99 here. Invariably, she should give us um, a home win. Yes, it should give us a home win. It should give us a home win. And we have a 149 in the possibility of the both team to score 1.5 and we have a 357 here. Same variable, you could see repetitions of numbers, repetitions of algorithms, repetition of variables. Now you have here, you have a 10 here in analysis and you have a 10 here. And you have a 37. And you have a three and uh, you have a seven. So invariably, 
that is where I am bringing this draw in here. That is why I'm bringing this draw in here. Um, but with this, I'm giving my this. Now, in terms of 1.5, I am not giving my CT a 2 0 or a 0 2. You are giving Manchester United a chance since we're having a 1.5. Now, if it passes, exceeds the 1.5, we should be expecting. If we're having a go-go, we probably should push up by either a one go. Now, if you're a lover of football, I'd like you to follow up prof mathematical analysis for outcomes like this. Now, what I would expect in from the players today. Now, in terms of Man City, we have players like De Bruyne. De Bruyne is a big game player. We have um, um, Seaver. He's a big game player. We have um, we have Gundogan. He's a big game player. And uh, we have Ederson in post, who's going to do a marvelous job today, who's going to keep at Manchester United from scoring the first goal in that match. So invariably, we have Eden Haaland. Haaland is going to be doing, you know, an assist. He's going to be giving an assist. If he doesn't score, he's going to give an assist. But I'm giving a goal to De Bruyne. Yes, De Bruyne to score an assist. Because De Bruyne is a lover of the English game. He's a lover of big games. And it's very difficult for teams to hide the Bruyne in games like this. Now, in terms of Manchester United, I believe um, um, Ten Hag is going to be looking up to players like Casimiro um, to do the job for him because you're having a 149 here, and this 149 is a strong number here. It's a strong number here. 149 is a strong number. And um, players like Rashford, yes. Rashford, um, Marshall, um, um, we have players like um, um, the Portuguese player, I think um, his name is um, Bruno, yes, Bruno Fernandes, yes, Bruno Fernandes will be at left back today, Casimiro, um, if Manchester United is to give us a turn up in this game, then the midfield have to be solid, because Manchester City is a club that plays the high-pressing game from start to finish. And uh, if Casimiro is not at his best today, then I see Man U leaving the game with a 1-0 or a 2-0 loss. Or with the effect of Rashford, I sh should be expecting um, Manchester United to give Manchester City a push because they are neighbors and um, it is a direct confrontation between two debit two debit and two debit or two or uh, in one city two big clubs in one city we call it a rivalry and so as a fan of football today Manchester United fans do not be offended do not be offended um, like I said this game promises to be an exciting one. So as a Man U fan, watch the ball with excitement, watch the ball with fun, watch the ball expecting your club to do something awesome. I uh, like um, in the last interview Gadula had, he said he's ready game by game. So invariably, this game will not be an exception. So please do follow prof mathematical analysis on um, the blog where i do my predictions prof mathematical analysis dot blogspot.com.ng and um, don't fail to click on the subscription button and the notification icon to see my videos because i'll be posting on the champions league between Mass City versus Inter Milan, and like I said, that game between Mass City versus Inter Milan is going to be an exciting Champions League game, which the whole lovers of football over the world will be talking for years, for years, for years to come. 
because Guardiola is going to give us what you call a masterclass in the Champions League final. So please do well to drop your comment, do well to ask your questions. Uh, like I said, what I do on Prof Mathematical Analysis is to increase our appetite, giving us outcomes to expect in a match invariably so that when you are watching the match, there'll be expectations you'll be having. Like I said, there'll be an over 7.5 shots on target. There'll be an over 3.5 card because it's, an, it's a high intensity game. And there's going to be an over 6.5 corners. And then we're going to have over 18.5 fouls on a So please do well to take a chill drink, relax, and keep fully prof mathematical analysis for more updates. Take a chill drink and peace out. I love you.